Hi all, Wick here. Today's topic is near and dear to my heart. I want to welcome you to the room of my house I spend the most time in. This is the man room, the Wick room, aka the garage, or if you're in Britain, the garage. And today's topic, topic is obviously garage organization. First off, before we can begin, I can neither confirm nor deny this pile of stuff was just in the garage cluttering it up and I moved it out there for the sake of a better video. If you have a garage, this could be a useful video for you. If you don't, my apologies. Come to the next house at going and I'll buy you a beer. My overarching system for garage organization has to do with grouping things together. Try and get each area or zone for one topic only. That way, when you're in that area, you know what it's for. I have a few tips for organizing that I've come up with over the years, and I want to share them with you today. Come on, let's take a tour of my garage. Okay, let's get going here. These, uh, first off, these are Gorilla shelves. They're really great. Usually buy them anywhere. So what's cool is you can try and get you know one zone to be that thing. So here, it's mainly outdoor equipment, some toys, and then uh, chemical stuff and one thing I like to do here is any kind of like can all in one spot mainly these are paint these are all similar bottles so it doesn't matter what's inside the bottle I just know that like hey I need some simple green it's up here with the other bottles but that's also next to like some toxic waste type of spray but I know that they're all in bottles so that's it's really handy to to find that stuff out and then anything in a spray can. So I have like spray adhesive in here, spray paint. Um, and, I, and I know that they're in this type of canister, so I know to look here. And then I just have a handy dandy sweeper over here. So great. Okay, then, and then I have three more Gorilla shelves this way. Each one is trying to do one thing. They're mainly outdoor gear, outdoor gear, outdoor gear, lots of luggage and lots of like really old keepsakes and bins that we need to sort through someday. And then in the center aisle, we put all of the bikes. And these are some of them. The rest go right about here, but I had to move them out for the video. You understand. This is, this is the newest part of our garage, it is kind of a craft area, art area. Remember, don't use your garage just to store stuff have it to do something in it too if you can, if you have room. So we carved out this portion of the garage to do pottery stuff. And someday this shelf will be dedicated to just pottery stuff. Right now we're in transition. Again, you totally understand. All right, every garage you gotta have your tool area. This is our tool zone, if you will. Uh, nothing too fancy. This was the biggest addition right here is the tool chest. Keep all your tools handy dandy in here. Get an outlet nearby if you can. And then up top, again, this is a work in progress, but trying to get a bin of screws or nuts or bolts, one of each size, type, and or shape, just kind of lined up up here. Put the bit for each one inside that jar, and then you'll always have like, oh, I got my bit for the drywall screws. Ta-da! I call this the beverage center. There was a time, uh, maybe a year or two ago, we got a new refrigerator, so we took the old refrigerator, put it out here. Best remodel we've ever done was getting another fridge out here. Super great. Tons of beverages inside, overloaded. That's right, it's a keg. And we have overflow uh, freezer stuff over here, which is awesome. Up top, kind of your coolers, uh, thermoses, etc., stuff like that. And then over here, easy to grab helmets, more of your bike thing, and some skateboards along the bottom. Love this corner. And last but not least, make sure you use all your garage. So if you look up into the rafters, you can always put stuff up there. Of course, everything up here is just, it's extra trim, wood, it's anything that's long. I got a flag up there, uh, we got skis, we got some leftover carpet that Caroline was like, we can't give away this carpet. What if we stain the carpet we have? And I was like, I don't think it works that way. But we do have the carpet up there. So use the, the roof or your ceiling as well. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just hanging out in my beverage center. 
I hope someday you too can have your own beverage center. And if you don't have one, come on over, join me at mine. I'll, I'll hook you up with a, an old beer. Hope you learned something about garage organization today, and we will catch you next time. Ooh, that must have gone bad.